Welcome to the Write on Purpose podcast, where we empower aspiring authors in the second half of their lives to discover the joy and fulfillment of crafting their legacy through the written word. Join me, Brad Swift, a seasoned Write on Purpose coach, as I share insights, strategies, and inspirational stories to guide you on your journey of self-discovery and creative expression. You can learn more about Right on Purpose Coaching at wbradfordswift.com forward slash coach. Now here's today's show. Hello everybody and on today's show we're going to be exploring legacy worthy books, a global, global perspective and this is part one on this. Um, Beyond bestsellers, crafting legacy worthy books with a global impact. In a world where bestsellers dominate the publishing landscape, it's easy to lose sight of what truly makes a book endure through generations. Bestsellers are often driven by market trends and the pursuit of quick success, but legacy-worthy books are crafted with a deeper purpose. These books aim to make a lasting difference, resonating across cultures and time. So today, We're going to explore what sets these legacy-worthy books apart and how they can influence the world on a grand scale. So, what are legacy-worthy books? Well, legacy-worthy books are those that transcend their immediate popularity, embedding themselves in the very fabric of human consciousness. They are marked by, well, number one, timeless themes. These books tackle universal issues such as love, justice, freedom, and the human condition. For instance, Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird explores the racial injustice, a theme that remains relevant decades after its publication. Secondly, profound impact. Legacy-worthy books inspire significant change shaping readers' perspectives and contributing to social movements. Rachel Carson's Silent Spring is a prime example, sparking the environmental movement and changing how we view our relationship with nature. Hmm, question. What will be the next legacy-worthy book that wakes us up to the existential crisis brought on by climate change? Will one of you reading this be the author of such a book? Next, depth of insight. These books offer deep insights into the human experience. George Orwell's 1984 provides a chilling look at totalitarianism, remaining a critical lens through which we examine power and control. Hmm, that gets me to thinking. Could my current work in progress, Stars Beckon, which is a dystopian novel of a world where the entire population has lost their sense of purpose in life, could it be remembered for generations to come? (laughs) Well, we will see. Literary quality. High literary standards, including masterful use of language and complex characters, ensure these books stand the test of time. Jane Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice is celebrated not only for its engaging story, but also for its sharp social commentary. And then there's cultural and historical significance. Reflecting or influencing the cultural and historical context of their times, these books become cultural artifacts. The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald captures the spirit of the Roaring Twenties, offering insights into the American dream. And then there's the author's passion and purpose. The authenticity and passion of the author can shine through, adding depth and authenticity. Eli Whistle's Night is a poignant testament to his Holocaust experiences, driven by his mission to bear witness. The global influence of legacy-worthy books. Legacy-worthy books have a far-reaching impact, affecting not just individual readers, 
but entire societies. They contribute to important conversations and can inspire movements. Here are a few ways these books leave a global legacy. Shaping Worldviews. Books like 1984 or Brave New World by Aldous Huxley challenge readers to rethink societal norms and question authority, influencing political thought worldwide. Inspiring social change. Like we've said before, Silent Spring actually led to the creation of the Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, in the United States, demonstrating how a single book can drive environmental policy and awareness globally. Preserving Cultural Heritage. Books such as Chinua Achbase, and excuse me if I'm mispronouncing that author's name, his book, Things Fall Apart, can provide a voice to marginalized cultures, preserving their heritage and stories for future generations. And then there's a whole notion of bridging cultural divides. The Kite Runner by Khalid Hosseini offers Western readers a glimpse into Afghan culture, fostering empathy and understanding across, across cultural boundaries. So, some thoughtful questions to ponder. As you embark on your writing journey, consider these questions to guide your work towards creating a legacy-worthy book. What universal themes am I addressing in my book? How can my book inspire change or contribute to important conversations? What unique insights does my book offer into the human experience? Am I investing in the literary quality of my work? How does my book reflect or influence its cultural and historical context? And what passion and purpose drive my writing? By reflecting on these questions, you can create works that resonate on a global scale leaving a lasting impact long after the initial publication. You can learn more about the power of setting your aim on, a, on writing a legacy-worthy book in my own book, Write on Purpose, Authoring Your Legacy in the Second Half of Your Life. And that's uh, got a hot link there if you want to look that up, or you can simply go to Amazon and look up the book title again, Write on Purpose, authoring your legacy in the second half of your life. Also, while I'm thinking about it, mark your calendars for these dates. Monday, September 16th, Wednesday, September 18th, and Friday, September 20th. These are the dates I'll be conducting the Write on Purpose Masterclass. If you have had the recurring thought, hmm, one day I want to write a book, or hmm, I'd like to one day try my hand at writing. Well, then you won't want to miss the master class. Stay tuned for more details coming soon. This is your Right On Purpose coach, Brad Swift, hoping you will have a purposeful, passionate, and playful day as you write on purpose.